Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching someone we have seen before. Her name is Emily Roberts. I think I've done one, maybe two videos on her, but definitely one. And she's the person who did this whole like network marketing is a scam or whatever video and charged people $10 to watch it or to be a part of it. And then she posted on YouTube for free. You know what I'm talking about? I'll try to link it or something or have Ava post a picture of it or whatever. But that's who we're watching today. However, the person who's mostly speaking is a special guest named Sarah Marble, who's one of the first diamonds ever in Plexus. So it's called Success Loves Speed, which is interesting because I, I like really disagree with that. And I think a lot of people in MLMs disagree with that too, or they like try to say like, it's not about how fast you go, it's just about like getting there, right? So we'll watch this and we'll see what Sarah Marble has to say about it. Don't forget that if you wanna support the channel for free, you can just simply hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, you can like it, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get started. It's the night that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Before I press play, I will have videos of Emily Roberts that I've done before in the description below. You can just click on the link and watch. Once this is over, you should go watch the first one I did on her because it's wild and it did pretty well. People enjoyed that video because she's wild. All right. Well, hey, everyone. I'm Emily Roberts. Um, welcome to my team's Tuesday night Zooms. Um, usually we cover 10 minutes of product and just some inspiration and like customer wins. But tonight we're going to change it up. We're going to do a little different. I have an incredible special guest and friend. Um, when I talk about Sarah, I call her the Sarah Marble. So you have like an extra name, Sarah. Who the hell has their phone number as their name on Zoom? Ava, please, please blur that damn phone number. Who's doing that? Please change it. <laughs> This is on YouTube for everybody to see, homie. Nara. So it's the Sarah Marble, one of the original diamonds in Plexus. And now I get to call her my friend. And she's someone that I've learned from and looked up to pretty much my whole Plexus career. I've been doing this thing for 10 years. And we were talking about how we work together now as diamonds and creating momentum and success throughout all of our teams and, and their businesses and like, Success loves speed. That's what we were talking about. And so I'm like, whose story? Like when I think about a story about someone who is relatable and didn't have speed in the beginning, I think of your story, Sarah. And I always remember it. Every time I have a new person that's like, eh, this isn't for me. I can't. It's not for me. Nobody liked my post. Nobody's signing up. I've been doing this for three months. I suck, right? All the all the negative self-talk that I hear. So Sarah. Um, is not only an incredible mom, but she's coming out of the medical field and now this plexus full time. And you're going to hear that whole story. I'm not even going to try to explain it because it's so good. And I want it to come from her. So Sarah, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you for being on. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. I know lots of people, you know, you're busy with life and all of that. I'm going to try to be short and sweet. And I want to give you guys just a few tips. And I hope that when you listen to this story, maybe it can be relatable. And I also want to share with you guys a few things that helped me to get into momentum. So like Emily said, thank you so much, Emily, for having me. I'm Sarah. Um, I've actually been around in a part of Plexus for over 13 years now. Um, and it has been just my passion and my joy to help people. As a registered nurse, that was what I thought I was going to do my whole life. Like I just wanted to help people. I went to nursing school. That was going to be my career forever. Um, and I didn't, I do want to say that I know a lot of people are like nurses become MLM, whatever, whatever. And I want you to ask yourself why it's not because nurses are like that. It's because of how nurses are treated and their pay. There is a lack of care for nurses by people who pay them by the medical field all in all, like overall, and also by people who are being treated by them. So as someone who's in the medical field who works very closely with several nurses, I watch how they're treated. So when you go to the hospital, be nice to your to your GD nurse, okay? Also, you can fire your nurse if you don't like them and then get a different nurse. I'm, I'm a bit sensitive to that, okay? All right, let's keep going. Know what I needed. And here's the kicker. I didn't know what I had when I initially 
was introduced to Plexus, thus a very slow start. So I selfishly just started drinking the pink drink because I wanted to get back in my skinny jeans after baby number two. Um, and so I really had no idea that I had stumbled on network marketing. I didn't know what it was, which is probably um, a good thing. Some people have an opinion one way or another. Um, I did not have any opinion. I didn't really know what it was. So when I started drinking Plexus Slim, started losing weight, started feeling great, I was like, wow, this is awesome. Like, She's the perfect person. First off, 13 years ago, MLM was thriving. People loved it. They were like, mm, this is great. This is wonderful. And uh, she probably didn't have an opinion because she probably just was ignorant. That's it. Simple as that. Now you have the opportunity to know different sides because people are speaking out about it. And uh, it's I wouldn't say it's opinion when facts show that it's a bad opportunity. I should probably tell some people about this, but I want you to hear me when I tell you that it took me seven months <laughs> to grab my first three people. And the first three people that I grabbed was my mom, uh, my husband, who didn't even know that I had enrolled him. <laughs> and then my upline was like, would you go silver already? Like, here's this random person that Facebook messaged me. Let's, you know, sign her up under you. You shouldn't have told on your upline like that, sweetheart. That is against the rules. This is perfect because Sarah is the epitome of MLM hun, especially starting off. She signed up her mom, she signed up her husband who didn't even know what she was doing or didn't even know she signed up. She might as well sign up her dog. If she has one, she probably doesn't. And then she, her upline gave her someone to sign up so that she could rank up so that it probably helped her upline. Seven months in, but what I want you guys to hear and understand is it took me that long because I didn't know what I had. So I want you to hear me right now. You are in the right place at the right time. And you have a magical referral link that can open up so many amazing possibilities. I had no idea that I would be able to go on to promote, which I will share that part of the story with you. But really long story short, um, I was able to retire from the hospital. We became debt free before I was 40. We were able to build our dream house. I have miracle baby number three to thank for a healthy body from all of the amazing Plexus supplements. Mm, 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 mm. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to say I have a miracle baby number three. Thanks to Plexus. No, hun, that was your body. Your body did that. Don't give it to an MLM. That was you. And I have a feeling like you probably took prenatal vitamins and this and this and that, and that's great as you should, but don't give that to Plexus. That's wild. That's wild. Um, and once I did realize, listen, we have what people need and people need to hear what we have from me, because if I don't tell them that they might not hear about it. So I want you guys to hear me when um, you think about, well, everybody probably sees the posts or everybody already knows what we're doing or, that is not the case. So one of your action steps for sure is going to be, don't assume they know, and don't assume even if they see your posts that they think it's for them. Why are you yelling? Why are you sleeping? Sorry, fighting email. Why are you yelling? Sarah, bring it down a couple notches, babe. Because they don't know what it is and they don't know that they need it, okay? So tip number one, pick up the phone, Go grab your mom and them, and that's, you know, we say that down here, um, and say, listen, you need this for X, Y, Z. So, so call your family, tell them to support your MLM. Yeah, you know what? She did get started 13 years ago, and you know what? She's still doing what they did 13 years ago. Come on, Sarah. Seven months in, I finally was like, you know, I really think this is the thing. And I stumbled on something that I need to tell people. So with my mom, I grabbed some samples. I was like, listen, mom. We talk every day. We're best friends. You're doing this with me. And she's like, well, you know, your dad's got retirement. He's got that really good, you know, next job. He's got, you know, like six streams of income. We don't really need it, but okay, because it's you and you asked so nicely and gave me samples, I'll try it with you. So my mom and I went on to go from silver to emerald the next five promotions together in nine months. So that was 12 years ago, but I want you to hear me when I tell you that I was a- That was 12 years ago, and yet you're trying to explain how you think you can help them go silver now or whatever, or emerald or whatever you said. That was 12 years ago. <laughs> no, I'm yelling, excuse me, I'm sorry. Registered nurse, I had no idea what network marketing was. I had no idea about social selling. I had no idea about 
using referral links and working from home. Um, and it was like one of these things where I was like, once I realized what I had stumbled on, I was like, why isn't everybody talking about this? <laughs> why isn't everybody shouting it from the rooftops? Because this can be as much or as little as you want it to be. And for me, it was a plan B that I didn't know I needed that quickly became a plan A. And once I decided, okay, these products work, this compensation plan is second to none. No, it's not. Nar, nar. We have an, a, co a company led by people of integrity, and I am going to give them my heart and soul and partner with people that I know are making the right decisions for us as a company and they care about me. Once that happened, I went all in. Now, second tip, don't overthink it and you don't have to know everything. When I tell you 12 years ago, there were no fancy websites, there were no brochures, there were no anything, okay? So I showed up for my first training with a piece of paper and I am not even lying. I'm going to write down. So I, I, I like was so proud of myself that I knew how to change my font from black to hot pink. So this um, was my training. Drink pink. Tell someone. That was it. End of story. Go mix your pink drink and drink it. And then I want you to go tell somebody that that's how you do it. Here's mine. I love pink. Don't join an MLM. And invite somebody to come take a look with you. Okay. So I, if you're here right now and you're like, you know what, I, I haven't gotten to silver yet, or I'm trying to get to senior gold um, and assuming that your warm market is tapped out. I have been doing this for 13 years and I'm still enrolling new people every month. People in my network who have been watching me for 13 years. Okay. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't think that you have to have a perfect website with a landing page with your own. Okay, so I'm looking at Plexus Income Disclosure Statement for 2022. And uh, this is what it says. How much can I earn as a brand ambassador? A typical Plexus ambassador earned $396 in 2022 before expenses. I'm guessing that means an average Plexus brand ambassador, $396 before expenses. Bef that means before anything they purchase Plexus themselves and tax. That's awful. This is based on average earnings of all US brand ambassadors who were active business builders. It says the top 10% earn an average of $7,600. 50% of the top 10% made more than $1,800. Half of the top 10% made more than $1,846. Oh my gosh, that is awful. The top 1% earn an average of $52,121. 50% of the top 1% made more than $26,000. 26,400 bucks. And then earnings by rank, their ranking doesn't even have everyone. So the percent of ambassador at rank, the bottom percent, 6.3% of the average of the brand ambassadors. This is the top 12.3% of the entire company, okay? The rest, 87.7% of the company that is in Plexus, that works Plexus, the 87.7% of the consultants are not on this earnings rank. 87.7% of the consultants in Plexus are not ranked as a silver, which is the rank that they allow here on the earnings. 6.3% of 100 is and they earn on average $667 a year or 577 median a year. And that's all I've got to say about that. That's all, I don't have to say a damn thing because this has said it all for me. But before we go, I want to remind you that this doesn't even have the elite status of the jewels, the ranks or whatever. It doesn't have emerald, sapphire or diamond. And it says a small percentage of brand ambassadors achieve the elite status of those three different ranks. And they don't even have them ranked because of how tiny it is. Well, that should tell you something right there. Branding with a photo shoot, with your own, you know, all of the things, keep it simple. Plexus has given us more tools than I ever could have dreamed possible. We have ways to plug people into corporate calls, webinars, you know, Pivotal, all of the things. So don't overcomplicate it. And remember, you don't have to be perfect to get started. Get on your products, grab a few people, okay? I want you guys to remember that a personal invite is so important. Here's your next tip. Don't be weird. Okay. It, you don't have to over, you, like when you, if you were to say, Emily, please give me like all of the perfect scripts. I'm going to just say, there's not really perfect scripts. And I don't use a ton of per perfect scripts because I voice message a lot. And I'm like, Hey, I was thinking about you. Um, you know, Hey, I thought of you. I don't know if this is something that would be for you, but if I shared with you a way that I'm 
feeling amazing and working from home, would you be open to hearing about it? That's what we did in Arbonne. When I did Arbonne in like 2019, that's what we did. She's stuck in the old ways. Right? Permission marketing will open so many doors. Permission marketing. That's a new one. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I didn't give you permission to DM me though, Sarah. That is a new one. You know, she made that shit up and she was so proud of herself too. Permission marketing. You have to be intentional. Um, and that's probably an extra tip that I can throw in there. Be, con be consistent and be intentional. Um, I want to read you something. So my next little thing. Okay. So you're probably thinking, well, wait a second. You had no idea what you found. And then it took you seven months to sign up your mother. And then you signed up your husband. He didn't know because he was adamantly opposed to me doing anything like this. So I was literally sleeping with the enemy for the first year of my. <laughs> that does not sound good. Listen, I love an enemies to lovers. Trust me. That's my favorite kind of book to read. Uh, but this, it's a book for a reason. This tastes bad on the on the tongue, you know? I'm sure plenty of y'all are going to have a lot to say about that. But that's all I've got to say. <laughs> of my career in Plexus. Um, and it wasn't until we hit that wonderful uh, emerald rank. We were literally driving to New Orleans Lexus to pick up my Lexus. He's driving and I'm excited. And he looked at me and he said... I guess this is going to work out. <laughs> it's like, I get nine months. <laughs> That's so long it took her to get there. So nine months, he either didn't know or was mad about it. I don't want to be a part of that marriage. I guess so. I'm mean, We're going to pick up my free Lexus and we're booking our... Sorry to pause it. She just said free Lexus. Sarah, I'm in my fighting stance. Not physically, but my words. They can get real sharp real quick with those free Lexus that you got over there, Sarah. Oh, that's a damn lie. Flights to Hawaii, I guess this is going to work out, but don't let people stop you, okay? Um, and this little thing that I'm going to read you, these, these few sentences, is something that kept me so passionate about. Once I went silver and realized I have something people need and I need to be the one to invite them and tell them, hey, let's go, let's do this. We promoted, I think it was silver, and then we went gold, senior gold, ruby, senior ruby, four months in a row. Um, and then it took another, um, whatever the rest of, to get to nine months, um, we hit emerald. We were in massive momentum because we were all drinking pink, telling someone, being consistent, and saying, hey, I have something that I think you should look at. Would you be open to taking a look? And they would say yes, and then they would sign up. Um, but I decided that I was going to set a goal. Um, and that I was going to have purpose and intention. Remember, this was 12 years ago. 12. I was 16. I was 16. I couldn't imagine doing the same kind of marketing that was happening when I was 16 to right now when I'm 28. Permission marketing is what she referred to it as. Permission marketing. I am still stuck on that shit. With consistency to hit where I needed to go. I got um, a sticky note, which sticky notes are my absolute favorite. Somewhere in all of this, I found that I was pregnant with surprise baby number three. Um, doctors had told us that we could not have kids on our own, and we already had two miracles. So thank you, Jesus, for them. Six and a half years later, here comes Hudson. Um, I was able to retire from the hospital, and I, I really said, okay, I am going to get really intentional. I'm going to start reading the books, learning about network marketing, learning more about gut health, all of the things. When I made that decision is when everything changed. Without a plan for your life, it's easier to follow the course of least resistance, resistance, to go with the flow, to drift with the current and no particular destination in mind. Having a definite plan for your life greatly simplifies the process of making hundreds of daily decisions that will affect your ultimate success. When you know where you want to go, you can quickly decide if your actions are moving you toward your goal or away from it. Without definite, precise goals and a plan for their achievement, each decision will be considered in a vacuum. Definiteness of purpose provides context and allows you to relate specific actions towards your overall plan. I have that underlined, highlighted, starred, sticky noted, because once I decided I'm in, I'm doing this, nothing can stop me, head down, set my goals, I had a sticky note that said um, five points per day for 
I think it was like 256 days equals Emerald. And every day that I sat at my computer, I didn't get up until I had a new order. I know a lot of you, you have been seeing countdowns. Emily's got her amazing countdowns. Great job, Emily is already 2.0. Ruby, congratulations on that. Um, knowing where you are going and then how you're going to get there. So this, I it's not in print anymore. Sometimes you can get it at a used bookstore. It's from Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, but it's called Positive Action Plan. And they've divided up like devotional, um, like a paragraph a day in a devotional style of just, um, you know, action steps and a plan, but it's from Think and Grow Rich and put Napoleon Hills. Um, but I knew that I could not stop working for that day. My income producing activity was reaching out, following up all of the things. Um, and that if I wanted to stay on track with that goal of Emerald by Hudson's birth, um, that, that that's what needed to happen. And when I tell you guys, March 1st, I was a paid Emerald and I delivered him on March 12th. I had the most amazing um, maternity leave ever. And then I took my six month old to Maui for the first time. Um, it all just fell into place. And then I went on to Sapphire 16 months later. Diamond um, was another four months after that. Um, Reentry was another four months after that, after I had read about a hundred books on anything from leadership to um, you know, mindset, personal growth, all of the things. So that's kind of my 13 years in a nutshell, take it or leave it for whatever. Really, that is your first four or five years. That's like your first four years-ish in Plexus. Because if you were emerald by year 12 and then 16 months or whatever after that you hit, what was it, Sapphire, and then four months you hit Diamond. So we're talking your first like four years in-ish, ish. And that's what happened in your first four years. Because like we said, getting into an MLM early is what's gonna help you most, but then also getting into an MLM 13 years ago is what, what's gonna help you most, most. Because right now MLM is downfall. Tip or trick you want to grab onto, but um, I hope that's helpful, you guys. Stay the course, it's worth it. You are in the right place. Um, set those goals and get to work because truly anything is possible. Are we gonna get some Emily Roberts too? Thank God, I'm so excited. I thought Sarah was gonna talk the whole time. Oh, I'm so pumped. You have totally set me up. We did not even plan this. I was just like, Sarah, bring the fire and your story. And like, your story is your story, right? So I'm going to piggyback on that and literally give you one, two, three, four, five steps that you can apply right now in your business. We have how many days left in the month? It's the 26, five days. So for the next five days, you apply these five things and you will hit your goal. You will grow towards your goal. You're, it's better than no action because no action is still an action, right? And that's what we've talked about many times on this Zoom. So you know that I love that saying, success loves speed. There's books about it, podcasts about it. Um, industry experts that love network marketing, they talk about this. And so I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you some... It's going to be for the new guys and for the existing ambassadors. <clears throat> and then some of you have been happy customers for a really long time. And you're like, let's freaking go. I get it now. I'm all in, right? Kind of like what Sarah had that, you know, aha moment. So here is why success loves speed. And um, there's actually 10 reasons, but I picked five out of the 10 just to kind of narrow this down. And if you want to be successful and you want to move quickly in this Plexus business, number one, Leaders solve problems. You're going to solve problems fast, quickly. You're going to find solutions. You're not going to go to chat and whine and moan and complain. You're not going to stay on the phone with customer service seven hours a day. That's why I like Emily, because she's so condescending and rude that she is the epitome of an MLM hun, especially an MLM top leader. And she's pretty much saying, figure your own shit out. Don't ask for help. Like you do you. Don't come in and whine in our group chat and be a little Debbie Downer. You're a top leader, right? You're supposed to help them. She makes me want to roll my eyes so hard that they get stuck. You're going to go find your own solutions. You're going to use the resources, Plexus Go, Plexus Help Center. Sometimes your chats and your team pages have resources. And I don't mean the people replying to you. I just mean sometimes they're already in those chats, right? And you're not going to wait for anyone else to do it for you. You're going to be like, I'm going to figure this out or die trying. Like that, That's my mindset or my motto. Um, I will never forget putting together this little cabana love seat in our backyard. Scott said, you can buy it. You can buy it for the pool. 
but you're putting it together. I'm not doing it for you. And if immediately I was like, really? Well, you're not going to put it together? And he's like, no, but if you want it that badly, I know you will find it within you to put it together. And it took me six and a half hours <laughs> to put this love seat together. But you guys, you know what? I'm so cute on the side of the pool and it was so worth it. And it's a fun story to tell. So when you want something, you are willing to find quick and fast problem solving skills. If you want to have speed and success in your Plexus business, you got to be a little competitive. Okay. If you want to take this $100 business to a million dollar business, you create your own urgency, right? We know every month it starts on the first and ends at the end of the month. We know that. If you're new here, that's it turns over on the first of every month and you get to create and build on or maintain the business that you've created. But you create your own urgency. So for example, Sarah mentioned the little countdown things, right? A lot of you were like, I'm five orders from gold. I'm 17 orders from senior gold or however you're counting down. I do it by day. By this day, I need to have this many orders. And if I don't hit that daily goal, I make up for it in the next day. That means I'm having more conversations. I'm not relying on my team to get these orders. That's not that's not leadership. I'm not relying on them to hit their goals. I know and I believe that they will, but I'm creating my own momentum. And you're competitive with yourself. It's almost like me versus the comp plan. I know that the income here is not capped. I can make as much as I want. I can go as quick. Well, there, that at least tells us that, sure, she's like, yeah, don't rely on your team, but that's how you're getting paid the most. I mean, she's being pretty straight up front about your team being a big part of what you're doing. Don't rely on them only, which I think is what most people in MLM say. You know, don't just rely on them to do the work. You also have to do work. But when it comes to a top leader, they really mostly do end up relying on their team. And at that point, they're making so much money as the one top as the top 1%. They don't really have to be putting in as much work. However, I mentioned this last video because MLM is starting to really you know, go down and it's getting very thick in the mud, top leaders are having to work more. And that's why you see top leaders hopping, MLM hopping more often now, and also leaving MLM altogether to do something else because they're actually having to work. I can go as quickly or as slowly as I want, but I want to move fast and I want to maximize our compensation plan. And so I'm going to be a little competitive with myself. The company says enroll six to get an Apple watch. You better believe I'm going to enroll 12. I'm going to max out that incentive. I'm not going to do the bare minimum. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm going to go all the way and set myself up for an even better month the following month, right? Um, I wrote this down and I underlined it. You want to earn every company incentive, whether you feel like it or not. I did not feel like doing anything. We've had a very stressful lifestyle behind the scenes over here with family and my kiddos and school changes and all those kind of things. There was a million times where I could have just been like, you know what? I'm going to go read my little romance novel in my Kindle by the pool and just be like checking out, not doing it. But no, you know what? I actually, I was not going to go for a double rank up. When we hit Ruby on the 22nd, I had multiple diamonds in my inbox going, so are you going to go for senior Ruby on your re-entry? And I was like, should I? I mean, I have eight, nine days. Should I be doing that? And they were like, of course you should. I could coast and set myself up for April, or I can go for a double rank up and create history and more momentum for my team. How are you getting competitive with yourself? That doesn't create momentum for your team though. You ranking up does not create more momentum for your team. It helps you. And like I said, okay, so last video or the video before, I don't remember. I was talking about, the, you know, they keep talking about they're a team, they're a team, but really they're not. They have the team captain, which is the upline, and then they have the rest of the team. But when you're actually a team, like let's say a sporting event, you're playing soccer. When you're actually a team, the entire team is working. You can't just have one person going up and down. Every person Person on that field is is playing the game and putting in effort everyone is and that's why everyone gets a trophy at the end in MLM everyone is playing and working on the field but only one person's getting the trophy getting the reward you just put in the hard work and that's what I mean when I'm like there's no momentum for them they're just putting in effort for the top leader to rank up I hope that's helpful when I thought about it that way it was a lot more helpful for me because it is so wild to think like that to think that that's okay to think that they're all winning even though you're the only one that got the trophy you're trying to say no y'all won too 
because I got the trophy and I got the money and I got the rank up. Y'all didn't get anything, but you still won. No, they didn't. With yourself and with your business right now. Think about that. You can answer that on your own. Number three, culture creates confidence. What kind of culture are you creating within you, your space with your VIPs that you're bringing in? Are you doing the same thing with every VIP that signs up with you? Are you introducing them to the business? Are you, are you just, you know, thank you for your order. Bye. Like, what are you doing? Do they know that they can refer three people? I love that Katie is on tonight. Katie is a brand new fast start silver ambassador. She lost five pounds during her three-day reset, immediately told others and was like, y'all got to check this out. They all got a free reset this month with their purchase. And Katie got over $300 in bonuses. I love how Sarah was like, don't be weird. It's simple. It really is. You take the product, you talk about the product. You're not a weirdo. People need this. People go to bed every single night, worried and stressed out about their health and their wealth. And you can offer that to everyone for $9.95. Like, I mean, come on. It's a no brainer, right? So what kind of culture are you creating with your VIPs? Drama, it's 9.95, like 995 or $9.95. Uses and whining or inspiration, consistency, grace, dedication. What kind of culture are you creating for your team? What will you be known for? When I thought of it that way, I was like, oh, what a great question. I never thought of culture that way. But as a leader, what am I known for as I lead my team? Like if you were to ask my team, which kind of stresses me out a little bit, you never know what comes out of my mouth. But if you were to ask my team, that's sure as hell true. You're so condescending and rude. They'll probably be like, she's just a hard ass. What is Emily known for? You know, what would they say? And most of the time you're like, oh, she's so bold or she's sassy or whatever. I've been that way since day one. Ask Hannah. She's been here with me for almost 10 years. Right. So like, I think that consistency speaks for itself. Uh, the culture I want to create is a consistent, I'm a pit bull. <laughs> it's a consistent competitive culture. Right. Okay. Number four, simple systems. I'm going to give you a simple system. I think sometimes we make this so much harder on ourselves than it needs to be. And so if you're sitting there and you're thinking, thank you. Oh my God, Emily, it took you so long to do that. Okay. Thank God that she finally made herself like that picture. What does that even mean? I'm going to walk you through it. So my simple system, this is what I do every single day. Um, I'm going to start with my personal business and signing up VIPs first. I have a share a cart. It's a reusable link that I can send to multiple people. I'm recommending the same system startup for everyone. It's the triplex. And this month they get a free reset. If that did not exist, it would be the triplex balance combo. Okay. I always have a fallback combo. My fallback combo is the slim and collagen, the mix and glow, because people will see results in up to 14 days with our collagen and our slim is delicious. And so those are my two go-to things. They're easy to market on social media. They're, they're, fr they're cost friendly. I always break down the cost per day. So it usually comes out from anywhere between four to $7 a day. It is now officially cheaper to be a part of Plexus consistently than it is to go to Starbucks and get a tall drink. But you're not going to Starbucks every single day of the month to get a tall drink. I'm not going to Starbucks at all, to be honest. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? It is officially less expensive to do that, you guys. And so, that's what I have ready to go in the note section of my phone. I have two different carts. They're labeled. One says mix and glow. I only recommend the Slim Hunger Control Black Cherry Lime. Very rarely will I recommend the microbiome formula unless they specifically request it. And that's fine. I just, I like to share what has worked for me and my most recent customers. And the majority of people come to me for weight loss. But I know that if they focus on gut health, they're going to get a weight loss goal with it, right? So, I have my two carts. I call it my cart and my backup plan. Um, when you simplify it with those two combos versus here's my link. That's like letting your kids go into Toys R Us and like, here you go. They're just going to go wild on your website. And like one, I think that is a good point for her to share because I mean, imagine here's my link. Go pick out something on my website. No, I mean, send them straight up something that's popular. It makes sense. So I I understand why she's doing that and why she's saying that. Now, I don't agree with it being an MLM. And I don't agree with it being MLM products, whatever, whatever. But I am going to say that's a great point. She's giving a good example of her kids going into Toys R Us. It's like, just go run and pick something out. They're going to get overwhelmed. Maybe not everybody's kids, but some will. But if you take them to one specific spot and you're like, hey, this is a very popular toy, you might like it. That makes more sense. They won't be as overwhelmed and might like the toy. All the things and ask you questions you may not be prepared for. And then you feel flustered and then you're just 
not really giving your best self to that VIP's experience. So I think having those two share carts ready to go is going to simplify that. Then in the back of my mind, I know, okay, what is my referral link? What is my resource? So maybe they're like, well, what is the triplex? What is the reset? I have graphics and an album on my phone that are organized so that if someone says, hey, I want this, I can immediately go to that album and send it to them. 15 minutes of my time sitting on the couch while my kids are watching Netflix, I organize that album and it has saved me hours because I have a quick resource I can give to someone that's ready to sign up. And then lastly, do I know how to share a cart? I know a lot of people are resistant there. Oh, it doesn't work. It, does. it does work if you use it correctly. And we do have graphics that walk you through those steps. So I have those all in alignment first before I respond to my customer. Okay. The second system is they are interested in Plexus. They ask me what it is, or they ask me what I recommend. I'm going to send them one of those cute little gut health checklists that you've seen all over Instagram. So tell me a little bit more about yourself. Are you experiencing anything on this list? If they say yes to anything on that list, immediately triplex, right? Like immediately, I know, I'm confident that they're going to be successful with that system. If they do mention weight loss too, I'm going to add on balance all day, all day. The science is there. We know that. And then of course, this month has just been so- The science is there. You know that? All right, Emily. It's been so stinking awesome with that free reset. So that's always a great perk. That is a simple system. Knowing what to say, having that flow in your conversation and knowing immediately, this is what I'm going to recommend. I feel good about that choice. That's what the majority of Plexus is using and being successful on. Oh, here's a graphic or a resource ready to go if they have questions. If you absolutely don't know an answer to a question. You've checked your resources. Yeah, of course, ask your upline. They will be giddy and excited to help you with that new VIP signup, right? Lastly, for simple systems, you have to have this thought about the system you're creating. And you can't just do it once and be like, oh, that sucked. You got to do it constantly, consistently. The thought is, I can do this. This is simple. If you stress yourself out and you think share card is hard, well, getting to diamond is going to be a lot harder for you. <laughs> so deep breath. I can do this. This is simple. Getting to diamond is going to be hard no matter what because less than 1% of the people are at diamond. Less than 0.3% of the people are at diamond because 0.3% of the people were at senior ruby. That's not even emerald or sapphire. So maybe it's 0, 0.0 something. That's wild. That is so wild. If you're new here, I don't suck. I'm just new at this. That's what I told my kid to say the whole time he was learning how to ride his bike. He kind of yelled for a little bit and was like, are you trying to kill me? My brain's going to be smushed. He thought he was going to die every day. It was so dramatic and hilarious. And then finally, he would start pedaling and say, I don't suck. I'm just new at this. And it just became a thing. And it's one of my favorite things to tell somebody new here. Lastly, a strong vision. I love that Sarah said she knew where she was headed. She was monitoring it by day. And she knew what her deadline was. Your goals need a schedule. They also need a deadline that goes back to creating that competitive urgency. If you don't, you can set deadlines, you can set goals, you can set all of that. But if it's not realistically a thing that can happen, then it means nothing. You're talking about getting by, getting, becoming a diamond by uh, a year from now or whatever. Realistically, that's not going to happen. If you look at the facts that the company themselves have given us, they don't even show us how many people are a diamond. Why? Because it's less than 0.3% of the entire company. Realistically, you can do all of that and it means nothing because you're not going to get there. You don't have a deadline for the goal you set, whether it's month end, tomorrow, 90 days from now. What are you working towards? This is all just a distraction for them to actually think they might get there. This is all just a distraction for them to keep working. It has to be. What else is it? They're not going to get there. It's even rarer than the word rare to get to diamond and plexus because they don't even have it as an option on their ranking system. You know, when they show you the income disclosure statement, yikes. Right, most high school seniors are working towards graduation. Same for college students, midterms, graduation, jobs. They're working towards that promotion. Well, that's the same thing for this opportunity slash job. If you don't clock in at work, you don't get paid. If you don't show up in this space, you don't get paid. You don't get paid unless someone purchases something. You can show up. 
you can put in work, you can put in effort, you can you can do all the things that she's saying. If someone's not purchasing products from you or someone underneath you, you're not getting paid, no matter how many hours you put in. And that's another big issue with MLM. So for those of you that have been here for a minute, I want to share with you the the one, two, three, four, five, six, the seven R's of success. I'm just going to read them. I loved the thought process behind this, especially those of you that are my veteran brand ambassadors. You've been here for a minute. When you have a goal or you're thinking to yourself, I suck. I'm not like her. I'm not like him. I'm not. My team doesn't do that. I don't have that culture. This, that, that, that. If you're doing that right now, I want you to listen to these R's. I was reading through them today and I'm like, I was thinking of my conversation with Sarah and I was like, this is exactly what I've been doing for the last six months. Head down. I've gotten to work and I have been rethinking my why, reevaluating my long-term vision for my business, reorganizing. Re something for at least the first three, it's distracting them. Trying to, you know, reboot. Like, I wonder if that's an R. Y'all think it might be an R? Maybe not. But but ultimately, this is a big distraction for them to not realize the truth of them not being able to get there. My systems, restructuring my resources. So for me, that's boards and share car and how I do things. Re-engineering. So that might look like how you um, do your morning rounds, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. Reinventing myself and my content. I am in a season of life with three kids who need me, right? Not a baby season, but I'm in the I'm in the six, eight, ten season. So lots of sports, lots of field trips. So I kind of lost myself for a minute, but we we're, we back, right? Maybe you feel that way. And then lastly, refocusing. If you would have told me I was going to go for a double rank on Mar March 1st, I would have laughed. But I am refocused. I see 750 points in my back office. I see the girls that have linked arms with me and they are running towards their goals. And because of that, I'm going to hit my goal. It makes me emotional for them because this did not happen overnight. Most of those girls running for that signed up in December and started working January 1st with me. And now they're going to go fast start gold. And it is just, it's been a series of things, which by the way, our fast start program is built that way. You have 30 days to hit those milestones. And I love that because it doesn't begin until you sign that first VIP up and you upgrade to brand ambassador. And then you have 30 days to get to silver. Some, I don't know if Savannah's on, but Savannah has fast started gold in 19 days. And now she's almost to senior gold, fast start senior gold in her first month. It is possible. People are still doing that. People are still going emerald in four to seven months. They have, they're, they did the seven R's. I'm not going to say them again, but they did the seven R's. Okay. And so I'm going to wrap up with this. Or if you're like, okay, that was just a reminder. Emerald is less than point than 0.3% of the company. There's a lot of information. I'm processing it. I want to do my best. Then I want you to hear me loud and clear. You're going to set the goal right now. Put it in the chat if you're feeling bold. Set the goal right now. What is your month end goal? Whether it's five point growth or you want to see an overall growth of 500 points. Everybody's different. Y'all have different size teams. Maybe your goal is five new conversations. Maybe it's taking my products consistently for the next five days. Set the goal. The second one is set the pace. Am I, am I walking? Am I jogging? Am I ready to sprint? What is my pace going to be? No one is coming to save you. No one is coming to get you to gold or senior gold or ruby or diamond or whatever it is your goal is. You must set the goal and show up, which you have shown up, all 27 of you. So now show up. That's what it says at my gym. Really big. When you're facing your trainer at the front, it says you showed up, comma, now show up. Don't waste don't waste the effort of being here already. Just do the thing. So you're setting the goal. You're setting your pace. And then you're going to map out your plan. Okay. For me in January, I knew I would be senior Ruby this year, but my plan was actually in May, not March or even April. So map out your plan. Next one is work the plan. If you know, I love that Sarah said, I needed this many orders per day for this many days. And this was my cutoff, right? July 31st is the Emerald Extravaganza cutoff. If you want to go to Maui with us, that's your that's your big deadline. 
So if you need 1500 points, I like to divide that by um, four and a half. So that's your levels one through three. It's an average of the points you're going to get there because you get five points for levels twos and threes, four points for level fours, and you get six points for the ones you personally sponsor. So I like to divide 1500 by four and a half. And then it kind of gives me some fluff, which is what we want, some cushion. And that's what we, that's your goal. That is the plan that you start mapping out. And you're not going to do all that heavy lifting by yourself. You're going to teach your team and you're going to stick to that simple system, right? Yeah, I know. It's mostly your team, Emily. I get it. Emily, how many people actually do that though? She's like, she's acting like this is a very simple, straightforward thing. Just do this. You're good. Just do it. Just put in the effort. And ultimately when they don't do it, because facts show that they very likely won't, she's going to act like it is their fault. Not that it is the business structure's fault, which is what it is. That's how the business structure works best when the majority of people aren't successful. And that is a freaking shame to make people feel that way. That is disgusting. And you're going to work the plan. And then what happens? And then you achieve the goal. Then you achieve the goal. You guys, I set the goal on the 22nd. We're going to double rank senior Ruby. I got with my girls. I have four girls doing this with me. I cannot do it without them. I've already looked at my subscriptions that are going to process. I've looked at all the numbers. I'm mapping it out. This is what I need to happen to make it happen, right? And we're going to work the plan together. We're all having new conversations. We're all in our stories, talking about free reset, shouting everybody out. She's silver. He's gold. Blah, 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 like all the things. And then we're going to achieve that goal. And it's going to be so epic and so cool. And I want that for you guys too. And I love seeing those um, things mapped out. So if you're sitting there and you're like, okay, what do I do first? I encourage you to start logging into your virtual office every single day. Don't avoid it. Don't run from it. Some of you are like, I don't like it. Or as my daughter says, I don't like it. I didn't like it for a couple of months myself. It was a little nerve wracking to see my points kind of going like this all last summer and then up in the winter and then like, I get it. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and the hat and the bracelets. But let us encourage you and share with you that Sarah and I, we know what it's like to lose rank, lose momentum. But we also know what it's like to create new momentum and rise up new leaders and earn the trips and earn the things. But you have to be aware. And that starts by logging into your virtual office. Do it for the next five days. Promise me. Promise me. I can see some of your faces. Promise me you're going to log in for the next five days. You're going to set the goal. Set your pace. Map out the plan and work the plan. And you're going to think, I can do this. This is simple, right? Because you do know what to do. You're going to drink the pink drink and go and talk about it, like Sarah said. All right. Is anybody else like so pumped? It's magic week, you guys. It's month end. Let's go. Some of you are brand new and you could go silver tonight. If you're feeling it right now, like you're like, you're it, it, it be bold. Borrow my belief, okay? I will never forget my first $10,000 paycheck. I too went diamond. Like literally was having Braxton Hicks, had my baby two weeks later and went diamond two weeks after that. I don't know what it is about these babies and going diamond, but any of you pregnant, that's a great goal. Nine months, get to diamond, right? <laughs> and so we are here to encourage you and inspire you because we've walked through the valleys and over the mountains and we've been interrupted by the trolls and the billy goats and all the things that happen on mountaintops, okay? But when you get up there and you look at everything you've overcame and you're like, oh, and then you see your team working up that mountain, you're like, come on, it's so worth it. All right. Thank you guys for being on. Sarah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I just loved it. I'm, I know they loved it too. Y'all have a great night and we will see. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> It stopped on its own. I didn't have to stop at that time. Thank goodness. Listen, I just keep thinking of permission marketing. <laughs> and it makes me giggle. Just <laughs> All right. Thank you, Emily and Sarah. Much appreciate you. So what do you think about that? Leave your comments below. I know there were several things in there that a lot of y'all are going to have to comment on. Uh, don't forget, please just stay here in these in my comment section. Don't go to them, which y'all already know because y'all are great and don't do that. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel for free, you can hit the subscribe button. I That would be so great. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.
care about what has been. I only care about yours.